Hello. In this video, we have a look at the question of how many ways are there to tile a two times n grid using one identical one times two dominoes. And the dominoes can be aligned horizontally or vertically. So a good thing to start with this question is to just draw some diagrams and for different values of n and try to see if there's a pattern. So if we start with the simplest example of n equals one, the grid will just be a two times one grid. And the only way to fill it with a domino is like this. So there's only one way, only one way to tile, it, tile the one times, the two times one grid with a domino. If we now move on to n equals two. A two times two grid can be tiled in two different ways, like this, or you can tile it like this. So we have two ways for tiling it for n equals two. Now for n equals three, we have a two times three grid. And let's have a look at the ways of tiling it. You can tile it like this. We can also tile it like this. And finally, we can tile it, tile it like this. So there's three different ways of tiling it. And the final small example we'll do is n equals four. So n equals four. The ways of tiling it, one way is doing four verticals. We can also do, we have, two horizontals, two verticals. We can do two verticals, two horizontals. We can do, we have two horizontals here and two verticals here. And the final way is all four horizontal. So there's five different ways. If you have a look at what pattern we have so far, we have n equals one corresponds to one, two goes to two, n equals three goes to three, but n equals four jumps up to five. So you might be thinking what type of sequence goes one, two, three, and then five. And one very famous sequence that looks like this is the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence goes like this. One, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34, and so on. So this is the Fibo, Fibonacci sequence. And in the Fibonacci sequence, each term is the sum of the two terms that come before it. So for example, five is equal to two plus three and 34 is equal to 13 plus 21. This is how the Fibonacci sequence works. So this is, this could be a guess as to what's the pattern in the sequences in the number of ways to tile with dominoes. But the question is how can we prove that the answer is the Fibonacci numbers. What we can first do is you'll let Fn denote the number of tilings for a two times n board. So we'll just label the number of ways of doing it for n as f of n. So we have f of one equals one and f of two equals two and f of three equals three and f of four equals five.
Okay, so we're going to prove this question using recursion. Or we can also call it induction. So, so what we can do in this inductive proof is we already proved some of the base cases. So the base cases we've already proven, we have one, two, three, five here. So since we've already proven some of the base cases, we can go straight to the inductive step and assume assume that f of n and f of n plus one, they follow the Fibonacci sequence pattern. And now we're going to find what f of n plus two is. I'm going to find f of n plus two in terms of f of n and f of n plus one. So to see what f of n plus two looks like, we have to tile a two times n plus two grid with dominoes. So this is what the grid looks like. Now let's have a look at the right edge of this grid. We have a look at the right edge of this grid. We could tile the very right edge just using a vertical line like this. If we do a vertical line, the vertical black line, we now have a two times n plus one grid left to, left to tile. And the number of ways to tile the remaining two times n plus one grid is just the same as f of n plus one. So there's f of n plus one ways to tile the remaining two times n plus one grid. The second possibility for the very right edge The second thing we could do is do two horizontals on the very right edge. We have two horizontals. What we have left to tile is just a two times n grid. And to tile a two times n grid, it's going to take f of n ways. This f of n ways to tile a two times n grid. And now, what we can see is in these two different cases, to find the total number of ways for f of n plus two, we can just add up these two different cases. So the first case we get f of n plus one, and the second case we get f of n. And this will equal f of n plus two, because these two cases are the only two possible cases. So in fact, we have each next term in the F sequence is a sum of the two previous terms in the F sequence. And it follows the F sequence will follow the Fibonacci number pattern. And as an example, if you have a go at computing F of five, so F of five is not too big. You can try listing all the combinations yourself and you will see f of five will equal five plus three, which equals eight. This is the sum of the two previous terms, f of four and f of three. So this is the reason why the number of ways of tiling a two times n grid follows the Fibonacci sequence. And what you can also see is Fibonacci sequence begin, the actual Fibonacci sequence begins with two ones, but over here, we go straight from one to two in the f sequence. So it actually, means we have a shift, we have the Fibonacci sequence shifted by one. So number, the, num, the sequence for the number of ways of tiling, it doesn't have this initial one here and it goes straight to the second one and then to two, three and five and so on. Okay, so that's all I have for this problem, this interesting tiling problem. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.